Welcome to School Media. I am Olajide Abdurazak. I will explain derived quantities and dimensional analysis. Here are the contents. So, what is dimension? The word dimension has a special meaning in physics, which denotes the physical nature of a quantity. So, let me take you to illustration of dimension. The power of any base quantity, I repeat, the power of any base quantity that enters into the expression of a physical quantity is what referred to as dimension of the quantity in that base. So now, to make it clear, let's try to consider the physical quantity force. So, the formula for force is mass multiplied by acceleration. And what is our acceleration? So, acceleration is change in velocity divided by time. So, how can we calculate velocity? Velocity is equal to distance all over time. Now, let's try to put everything together. Mass multiplied by acceleration is force, which is equal to mass multiplied by change in velocity all over time, which is equal to mass multiplied by length all over time divided by time. So, in a nutshell, force is equal to mass multiplied by length times time raised to the power minus 2. That is, force is equal to mass multiplied by length multiplied by inverse squared of time. So now, let me try to explain this. Dimension is a physical property which describes the way any physical quantity is related to fundamental physical quantities. So let's try to underline the word physical quantity, fundamental quantity. So I'm going to explain what physical quantity is and what fundamental physical quantity is. So simply, whether a distance is measured in units, that is, whether a distance is measured in unit of feet or meter or phantoms. So it is still a distance. We say its dimension is length. So anytime we're talking about dimension of distance, we're referring to length. So the symbols which are used to specify the dimension of length, mass, and time are L, M, and T respectively. So now let me try to explain what dimensional analysis is. So dimensional analysis is a means of simplifying a physical problem by appealing to dimensional homogeneity to reduce the number of relevant variables. In another word, is the analysis of the relationships between different physical quantities by identifying their fundamental dimensions such as length, mass, time. So now what is physical quantity? So from the word physical, physical quantity is a physical property of a phenomenon, body or substances that can be quantified by measurement. So also Physical quantity can be expressed as the combination of a number and, and a unit or combination of units. So, we have two types of physical quantity. So, we have fundamental physical quantity. We have derived physical quantities. So, now, let's try to take them one after the other. Fundamental physical quantity are the quantities which cannot be expressed 
in terms of any physical quantity. So what we're trying to explain here is the fundamental quantities can never be expressed in terms of any other physical quantities like mass, length, time, temperature, intensity of light, electric current, and so on and so forth. So if you look at all this quantity, you know that we cannot express them in any other quantity except where to express mass as mass, length as length, time as time, and temperature as temperature. So now the, this table explains the, the fundamental quantities with their units, which is in standard uh, system international unit. We have the units and we have the symbol. So now, um, so this is where we're going to stop for today. And in our subsequent video, we like to explain more on the derived quantities and dimensional analysis. Thank you. And don't forget to share and like this video. Goodbye.